Hello everybody, welcome to our video course called Mastering IELTS Essay Writing Model Answers. My name is Neil Bakiev and I'm the founder of my website, which is IELTSTOEFL.com. You can buy this video course called Mastering IELTS Essay Writing Model Answers, and then you can learn how to write essays professionally. In this video lesson, we'll be focusing on a problem solution essay, but we will be focusing only on the introduction and body paragraph one. If you want to see the whole essay, including body paragraph two and conclusion, then you should buy this course and you will see the analysis of the whole essay. All right, now let's read and analyze our essay prompt. Fewer and fewer young people are choosing to become teachers. Why do young people not want to be teachers? And how could this be changed? Give reasons for your answer and include any relevant examples from your own knowledge and experience. Write at least 250 words. Okay, so here the key words are why and how. When you see this question why, you should come up with at least two reasons. There might be three reasons, but make sure that you include that you will include at least two reasons. Reason one and reason two. Okay, next. And here We've got how could this be changed? So you should provide at least two possible solutions. So the first solution will address the problem of the first reason that you will mention in your body paragraph one. And solution two will solve the problem that you will again indicate in body paragraph one. All right, and also make sure that you will include some examples, okay? And you should write at least 250 words. Now, let's look at our introduction. In recent decades, there has been a concerning decline in the inclination of graduates towards pursuing careers in teaching. Okay, so the first sentence is very important. It's called a background statement. So what you need to do is to paraphrase the essay prompt. Now let's focus on the next sentence. The underlying causes of this trend demand careful analysis, along with the development of effective strategies to rejuvenate interest in the teaching profession among university graduates. So that's our outline which basically means that, that this is our essay plan. We say what we are going to do in the following paragraphs. Okay, so here, the underlying causes of this trend demand careful analysis. Because the question is, why do young people not want to be teachers? Therefore, here we've written the underlying causes of this trend demand careful analysis, meaning that you will analyze the underlying causes of this trend. Here, along with, basically means with. Next, the development of effective strategies. So in this case, strategies, right? This is um, the same as solutions, because here the question is, how could this be changed? Okay, so basically what you're saying that you're going to analyze several effective strategies to rejuvenate interest in the teaching profession among university graduates. Okay, um, next, now let's just focus on the vocabulary um, given in this introduction. Fewer and fewer young people, okay, so basically here we have paraphrased it by writing, there has been a concerning decline in, okay, next, young people, it means graduates, next, are choosing to, okay, this is the inclination towards, to become teachers, here we've got pursuing careers in teaching. 
why next the underlying causes of how effective strategies be changed to rejuvenate interest in so all these words are given in our essay prompt all these words are given in our introduction so we show the examiner that we can paraphrase every single word or phrase okay as much as possible next now let's focus on the grammar in this introduction in recent decades there has been a concerning decline in here i've used the present perfect tense has been and the key words are in recent decades also please remember that after the word towards you should write ing here so towards pursuing towards choosing selecting okay? always make sure to add the ending ing okay now let's focus on body paragraph one primarily the dwindling appeal of teaching is intricately linked to economic social and health related factors so the first sentence is very important because it's called the topic sentence meaning that it represents the main idea of the entire paragraph and here we need to include at least two reasons okay here i've got three reasons so the first reason is economic and then social and then health related factors and then our job is to explain the first reason here and then the second reason here and then we need to explain the third reason here okay that's how we can create coherence and cohesion okay now let's look at this sentence notably salaries in the education sector are significantly lower than those offered in lucrative fields such as finance industry and tourism deterring potential candidates okay so here before we mentioned we mentioned the first reason okay economic and here salaries in the education sector so as you can see there is a strong link there is a strong connection between these two words and phrases next moreover the erosion of society's respect for educators has tarnished the once esteemed status of teachers and exacerbated feelings of disillusionment okay before we mentioned the second reason which was social and here the erosion of society's respect for educators next additionally the demanding nature of the job characterized by long hours and challenging student behavior has contributed to stress related issues among educators before we mentioned health related factors and here stress related issues okay once again your job is to indicate at least two reasons and you need to explain the first reason and then the second reason and if you have the third reason you should also explain it here in detail all right now let's focus on cohesion and coherence which basically means creating strong links and structures i've already explained to you how to do it but apart from this you could also use some key words such as primarily here we've got primarily then notably moreover and additionally all these words will help you to connect your sentences and ideas also make sure that you will use a comma after each of these words primarily comma notably comma moreover comma additionally comma all right next now let's focus on the topic related vocabulary here in body paragraph one dwindling okay which basically means gradually becoming less or diminishing next intricately linked to that means closely connected in a complex or detailed way next lucrative fields 
that basically means areas of work or professions that offer the potential for high earnings or financial rewards. Next, deterring, that means dissuading or discouraging. Next, the erosion off, that means the gradual decline or weakening off. Tarnished, that means diminish or damage. Next, exacerbated feelings of disillusionment, that means made feelings of disappoint, uh, disappointment worse. Next, challenging student behavior, that basically means difficult student behavior. As you can see, you should use advanced vocabulary and phrases to get a high score in the writing section. Now let's focus on the grammar section here is intricately linked to so here i'm using the passive voice next are significantly lower than so here uh, it's that comparative form specifically comparing the degree or level of one thing to another and has tarnished this is the present perfect so the examiner wants to see different kinds of grammar that you will use in your essay all right, guys, once again, if you want to see body paragraph two and if you want to see the conclusion of this essay, make sure that you will visit IELTSTOEFL.com. Here is the course that I created called Mastering IELTS Essay Writing Model Answers. And you can see the whole essay and the whole analysis there. Good luck with your IELTS preparation.